Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for July 1st, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day Puzzle By nature, touchy and suspicious, the alcoholic likes to be left alone to work out his puzzle, and he has a convenient way of ignoring the tragedy which he inflicts, meanwhile, upon those who are close to him. He holds desperately to a conviction that although he has not been able to handle alcohol in the past, he will ultimately succeed in becoming a controlled drinker. One of medicine's queerest animals, he is, as often as not, an acutely intelligent person. He fences with professional men and relatives who attempt to aid him, and he gets a perverse satisfaction out of tripping them up in argument. The Jack Alexander article from the March 1941 issue of the Saturday Evening Post. Thought to consider. There is no such thing as being, quote, a little bit alcoholic. AA acronyms. Denial. Don't even notice I am lying. Just for today. Blindness. Step seven. Humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings. This lack of anchorage to any permanent values, this blindness to the true purpose of our lives, produced another bad result. For just so long as we were convinced that we could live exclusively by our own individual strength and intelligence, for just that long was a working faith in a higher power impossible. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 72. Daily Reflections, the best for today. The principles we have set down are guides to progress. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 60. Just as a sculptor will use different tools to achieve desired effects in creating a work of art, in Alcoholics Anonymous, the 12 steps are used to bring about results in my own life. I do not overwhelm myself with life's problems and how much more work needs to be done. I let myself be comforted in knowing that my life is now in the hands of my higher power, a master craftsman who is shaping each part of my life into a unique work of art. By working my program, I can be satisfied knowing that in doing the best we can for today, we are doing all that God asks of us. As Bill sees it, the reality of spiritual experiences. Perhaps you raise the question of hallucination versus the divine imagery of a genuine spiritual experience. I doubt if anyone has authoritatively defined what a hallucination really is. However, it is certain that all recipients of spiritual experiences declare for their reality. The best evidence of that reality is in the subsequent fruits. Those who receive these gifts of grace are very much changed people, almost invariably for the better. This can scarcely be said of those who hallucinate. Some might think me presumptuous when I say that my own experience is real. Nevertheless, I can surely report that in my own life and in the lives of countless others, the fruits of that experience have been real and the benefactions beyond reckoning. That's from a talk, 1960. Big book quote, The greatest enemies of us alcoholics are resentment, jealousy, envy, frustration, and fear. That's from Alcoholics Anonymous to Employers, page 145. Resentment is the number one offender. It destroys more alcoholics than anything else. Alcoholics Anonymous, How It Works, page 64. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. In following the AA program with its 12 steps, 
we have the advantage of a better understanding of our problems. Day after day, our sobriety results in the formation of new habits, normal habits. As each 24-hour period ends, we find that the business of staying sober is a much less trying and fearsome ordeal than it seemed in the beginning. Do I find it easier as I go along? Meditation for the day. Learn daily the lesson of trust and calm in the midst of the storms of life. Whatever of sorrow or difficulty the day may bring, God's command to you is the same. Be grateful, humble, calm, and loving to all people. Leave each soul the better for having met you or heard you. For all kinds of people, this should be your attitude, a loving desire to help, and an infectious spirit of calmness and trust in God. You have the answer to loneliness and fear, which is calm faith in the goodness and purpose in the universe. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be calm in the midst of storms. I pray that I may pass on this calmness to others who are lonely and full of fear. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.